Hey guys, Oliver from Data Academy here. In today's video, we're going to be learning about Python control flow. And control flow is something that will allow us to change the behavior of our program based on some conditions. And the general form that it is in is this. We have an if statement and we have a condition. If the condition is satisfied, then we will perform these actions. And if that condition is not satisfied, it won't do anything. We can also add more conditions by using the elif statement. And elif stands for else if. Elif, this is another condition, so we'll call this condition two. And then we can perform some other actions. If, once again, elif is not satisfied and neither the if condition is satisfied, then our block of code will not do anything. We can also use another elif statement or we could use else. And else will run if everything else did not. And then perform other actions again. One thing to keep in mind is that if any part of this code is run, it will instantly skip the rest of the block. So if this condition is met, then it's not, it's going to completely skip this and it's going to go to the next, it's going to go to the next part of the code. Or alternatively, if this is not satisfied, but this is, it's going to completely skip the else and go to the next part. Let's see this logic in action. So my program is currently taking the input from a user as an integer, and it's just asking for a number. It's saved to the variable myNum. So our first condition is gonna be checking whether my number is negative. So if my num is lesser than zero, then we're going to print negative number. And we're also gonna add another condition, elif for else if, my number is greater than zero, which means it's positive. Then we will print positive number. So let's just try executing this code right now. And I'm going to begin by using a negative number, negative 10, and it's giving us negative number. And notice how it just skipped the rest of the code block and it didn't even check the elif. We can also add an else. So right now we've considered if our number is negative, if it's positive, but we haven't covered what if it is zero. So I'll just write print zero. And that way we know that if neither of our first two conditions are satisfied, our number must be zero. Let's run our code again and try using zero. And it's gonna tell us zero. One thing to keep in mind is that we can have an unlimited number of elif statements and we can only have one if and one else. So since the else is a catch all at the very end, you can't have multiple of them. And the first if is always if everything after is elif. One thing you want to watch out for is forgetting to put L in front of if. So if it's like this, and for now we'll just delete this else. If it's like this, these are going to be both running because Python doesn't think that these are attached together. So basically what it would be doing is if this is true, it's not gonna skip the next block. Since it's not elif, Python doesn't think they're attached. So let's say we make this lesser than zero as well. Then we could print negative number again. Now, if I give a negative number, supposedly it's going to print negative number twice and that's exactly what happens but if i put an elif here and we give another negative number it's only going to print it once because after one condition is true it'll just skip the rest of the block of code there's many other operators you can use one of them is equal this will check for equality this compares two numbers um, you can use not equal by doing exclamation mark and then equal sign there is greater than or equal to. There's also lesser than or equal to. And 
There's also the ones we use, which is greater than or lesser than. Thanks for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you all next week.